Hello, I'm Martinez, and today we are looking at the. Let me just find a minute. I need to remember what I'm looking at. The Ac Stiletto. Pull them out, please. Whoa! I did not mean like that. I mean the guns. These guns. No, no. No reason for a sexual harassment lawsuit. No, thank you. No, thank you. I meant your guns. Right. Moving on from that awkward, awkward conversation. The Axe Stiletto, as you may have guessed, is a sidearm. And that is pretty much all I've got to say. The Axe Stiletto, in terms of speed, I believe is somewhat ridiculous. It, it is known to fire ridiculous. Ridiculously fast. Let's try some Easter colours, because because Easter's over, and you know I didn't even realise this pack was no. Don't purchase. Ew, you know I can stay black. Um. Show me handles, please. Oh, oh the colours are looking awful. There's some crying baby outside my window. And he's annoying and loud and should shut up. <laughs> Could you please quieten your child? That's, I'm pretty sure that's the rudest thing to say to any parent ever. Could you please quieten down your child? Could you please fuck off? Right, where was I? The Axe Stiletto. Um, it's fast. It's known to be fast. As you want, has it got any polarity slots? It has a... One of these. I can never remember what that polarity is. I know there's V. I know there's E. I know there's D. V, D. Uh, there's E somewhere. I can never remember what that one is. Line polarity. We call it that. Okay, so the Axelo. It's similar. It's basically a automatic. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm on solo. But my, my stupid death cube is still on. Go away. No, 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 no. Don't want you. Don't want you at all. Yeah. So the Axeletto is a sidearm, a fully automatic sidearm, and it's known for its um, fairly ridiculous speed, I think, I believe. At least that's what I, that's what I believe. So let's pull this out. Oh. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marine Station here. Leave no one standing. So I was talking about its, its, um, its high speed. Um... Not off the bat, it's not. Okay, so it's not. Go away, man. Level one already. Okay, that's nice. They spotted you. Get ready for a fight. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, hello. Okay. The damage, while not being the best. It is rather fun to use, I'll admit that. Okay, so obviously the damage is not quite the best at the moment. It could use some work. Headshots seem to get the job done, obviously. Um, I'm not too sure what to say, really. I mean, the fire rate isn't incredible but I'm probably gonna guess some mods would make it ridiculous so I think fire rate might be something I need to work on damage definitely not the greatest at that time of recording my life oh shit accuracy wise is not too terrible, I suppose. Close range is pretty good. Uh, how's distance, though? Can I get any distance? It's not too bad. I mean, I've definitely used worse. So, okay, so in terms of accuracy, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Fire rate, not incredible for the time being. Damage, also not too... Not too impressive, but the one thing I am happy to report. 
be as quick as is the reload. The reload is quicker than I thought it'd be. Which which makes me happy. Yeah, tapping this thing is rather enjoyable. That wasn't really tapping. Oh, what? Level two. Okay then. Yeah, so I'm actually rather enjoying this. It's it's a little slower than what I had originally anticipated. But the reload speed is pretty good considering this thing is completely unmodded, brand spanking new out of the out of I'm say box. Out of the foundry, I believe would be the correct terminology. Shit. The ammo clip's a little small, but since you can reload so quickly, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. But now there's one thing that my eye keeps wandering to. It is the little number in the bottom right that shows how little ammo this thing has left. This thing kind of eats ammo. It may be because I've been hyped just around with like one click. The one click should not be insurmountable by this much. That is, I have like no ammo. I have barely ammo. I can reload this thing like once more before I'm pretty much out of usable ammo. Luckily, I'm doing an easy, a very easy exterminating thing, meaning I don't really have to use many of my bullets. I re don't really have to use many of them anymore. Ooh, that. Oh, ferrite is the most disappointing shit to collect. All the damn time, it's like, oh, sh free shit. Ah, oh, it's ferrite, great. Oh, I have 40 grand of that somewhere, doing jack shit. Where is the last dude? I have to use my bullets. He didn't die. That's nice. And then. Okay. No further life forms detected. I'm just gonna leave you to talk. So the Axelotto, in terms of fire rate, not what I thought it'd be. But it'll, it's gonna, it's gonna have some work done to it, and it should. Um, Get to a point I can, I would prefer it. The clip, is well, not the biggest. I can get over it because it reloads rather quickly. But the entire, the overall ammo though, actually sucks. Mission complete. Excellent. All work, I got Tenno. was fair right. All I got was fair level three. So, the thing needs a little bit of work before it can be considered a really good sidearm. I mean, for the time being, it's not the greatest, which is a little disappointing. Um, let's have a look at you since we're here. What would you like me to auto-install? Impact damage and status chance. Nah. Definitely going to require one of these, I think. Convert unused ammo drops into pistol ammo. I think with a gun like this, you're probably going to need it. Because it is just... I just don't see it. If you want to go for an entire map with, with this thing, no, no suck, no... No melee, no primary, all sidearm. You're probably going to want this thing. Because the extra ammo it will give is really going to help out. Because my lord... She, she, sorry, it's going to run out of ammo so quickly that you wouldn't know what to do with it. And if you have increased fire rate, it's going to run out of it even faster. It reminds me of the Dex Furious. Fun to use, very fast. But my lord, the amount of times I've eaten through a 100 ammo clip by complete accident, without even realisation, I'll point out, is incredible. And this thing, yes, the reload is lovely and speedy. But it's just, you're, either way, you're going to run out of ammo if you're not careful. So I would definitely recommend you have that pistol mod installed, for the most part. Unless you can get away with, like, complete flat-out damage and, like, one headshot kills one person every time. Or it has incredible crit chance, which I'm not entirely sure about. Oh no, it's got 15%. It's not too shabby. So this has been the Axe Stiletto. Which, unfortunately, I didn't get to pull out the foundry, but when I did make it, I pulled it out the foundry and went, okay, I'm going to use this. Like, oh no, shit, wait. 
I record new weapons for Warframe first impressions. And I completely forgot, so I had to leave it in there until I recorded this so I can actually use the thing. Yes, I do it for you sitting there waiting for the next weapon. Or not waiting for the next weapon. Or just fight. Ooh. Interesting effects. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, I think. Also, am I the... I hope I'm not the only one, but this Sidana looks fucking awful. The physics are bad, and they look bad on small characters. Just... Bleh, bleh. Can't stand it. Although, I do like the melee. So I, I can't remember the name of it. Okay, moving on. So, today... Today? What am I saying? Okay, so this has been the Axe Stiletto. And hopefully, I will have a new weapon... For you shortly, although I have plenty of shit to upload when it comes to raw frame. So, until I find a new gun, sword, or sidearm, until next time, goodbye.